Hello. Hello. Welcome. Slay the Spire. The most annoying character to play on the hardest difficulty. About to be beaten. I never thought I would see this day. I have over 685 hours played on this game. And the setup is here. So let's just take it home. I don't have the sound, by the way, for some reason. There it is. It's actually done. I cannot believe this. I just wanted to record this as proof that this can be done. Achievement unlocked Amethyst Plus, apparently. GG. The Watcher beta card unlocked. There it is. There it is. Yes, it has been done. Has it officially been done? So I have beaten Slay the Spire with the Ironclad, the Silent, the Defect, and the Watcher, all at level 20 Ascension, and the final boss included. I had these three done quite some time ago, but this character, the Watcher, her cards suck. <laughs> For, like, the vast majority of them. She does have some gems, like the Diva card. And ironically, the Diva card was not one I actually had available for me in the run that I actually just won there. If you want some advice on how to beat this game on the hardest difficulty, my advice would be just to keep running it over and over with the um, first three floors, boss uh, mobs have one health, and try to get a good start and look for, like, awesome items. Always just continue anyway, because it's fun to play. But if you get the dead branch, you actually have a really good chance. The dead branch allows you to exhaust cards. Well, when you exhaust a card, you get like a different card in return. And most of the time, it's a really good card that you can keep playing or, you know, you can find cards that you never had access to. So I would highly suggest the dead branch is basically the key to beating a lot of these difficulties. But it's done. I've officially done this. So I, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. All two of you who watched, thanks so much. But uh, yeah, this this has actually officially been done. So I don't know. I will probably still play Slay the Spire, but I'll probably play the Defect next because I've beaten it recently with the Silent and the Ironclad, but I gave up on the Defect and went back to the Watcher. I hate playing the Watcher. She's not. She's the, by far the least favorite class, and I know there's some mods and stuff like that for other classes, but the Ironclad is fun. The Defect is really fun. I think he's possibly the most fun with the Ironclad being close behind. If you get the dead branch with Ironclad, he's awesome. And you can get like unlimited armor and stuff. The Silent has a lot of interesting opportunities, but is really hampered by this sort of dependency on immunity to damage or taking only one damage. And there's a specific card that does that. If you don't get that card, you're going to have a really bad time. But the building up poison is really fun. I just don't like the Watcher. If anyone plays this, and let me know which order you play uh, in terms of preference for the main characters. But... The Watcher I just don't like. She has this sort of synergy between bursting into massive damage or being calm and collect and defensive. But it's pretty RNG and, you know, all it takes is one bad fight where the cards don't line up and you just lose because, well, you couldn't gel back and forth between the two synergies, the stances. I'll just show you quickly... Um, not this. That's the wrong thing. Statistics. Lead. No. Run history. So this is it. Victory. Ascension. I spent a long time on this one because I just had to make sure I was getting this right. Because I've never been able to beat it with this character or even get... Well, I've got kind of close, but it never felt like it was that doable. But I've got Deus Ex, Mechana, Wish, Battle Him Plus, lots. I love, this is my favorite card, the Like Water. Because it's really the only chance you actually get to get some good defense with this character. Otherwise, it sucks. Um, just lucky, yeah. Punish didn't actually perform that much for me. I only got it towards the end. So, really not that many interesting, powerful cards. There's no Diva or anything like that. 
um, or some of the other ones. But the most important thing is I got dead branch. And I also picked up medical kit, which means that unstable, uh, unplayable status cards can be exhausted. And they're free, so you exhaust them and you can potentially get something really good. And we got Mother Fired Hand. Calling Bell was amazing. Hopefully you get something good. And then obviously the power up. So I didn't get too much out of the more bank, and that's for the last boss, in case you managed to get to it. So there you have it. Thanks once again. Have a good one. Take the best. Take Take the best. Take the best. And I'll see you later.